So a while ago, I um, actually uh, did a thing for some students um, and made a video about it too um, on how easy it is to switch from guitar to ukulele because a lot of the chords are very similar, same shapes and everything. Um, so like on a guitar, a D chord is exactly a G chord on a ukulele. So this exact shape on a guitar is a D, this exact shape on a ukulele is a G. So that's what I mean, there's a lot of um, the chords are the same shapes and everything, just different names. So you just need to n learn the name. So uh, I thought we would take from ukulele, learn a song, and then transfer it over to guitar using a lot of the same shapes. So this song, Frosty the Snowman, um, has a bunch of G's in it, which then translated over to guitar are going to be C's. Uh, it also has a lot of C's in it, which translated over guitar is going to be F. And it has some F's in it that then translated over gu to guitar is actually going to uh, be uh, a B flat. Yeah, it's a because once I start trying to think back and forth, I start wondering, am I, th am I going in the right direction with the chords? Um, so yes, so, a, so an F on a ukulele, the shape would be a B flat on a ukulele, but on guitar, see? I'm conf it's confusing. I think I've made it more confusing. But anyway, so let's talk about Frosty. Okay, pretty simple. So uh, the first verse is C for four beats. So all of these chords, uh, with one exception, are four beats, one measure long. Okay, so the verse is C, C, F, C. F, C, G, C. Okay, so that's the first, uh, the first verse, and that's the frosty, the snowman. I'm not sure if it's a chorus or not. I, I don't know, but we'll call it a verse. Okay, um, because actually the way I wrote it out, there is actually no chorus. It's verses and then the thumpity thump thump part and then the there must have been some magic in that old what felt hat they found or whatever it was uh, so we'll call this a verse okay so this is the you know frosty the snowman was a something something with the corn cup pipe and button hood sent to eyes made out of snow uh, cold made out of snow cold uh, so that's the first verse okay then the second verse is exactly the same. Um, and I don't know what the words are. Frosty Snowman was something as he could be. Uh, but anyway, so it's C, C, F, C, F, C, G, C. Then the there must have been some magic in that old felt hat we found. For some reason I want to say it was old straw hat we found, but in the animated um, TV Frosty show, the special that they air, it was a felt hat, it's a top hat, a black top hat. So I don't know. But anyway, that part is uh, F, C, G, C, G. G. Now, A minor twice, D twice, and then G for one measure. Okay, so that's the A minor and D are each two beats long, so they both take up one measure. Okay, so the little uh, some magic part is 
F G F C G C G G A minor D G Okay, pretty simple. Uh, see, I'm already I'm already thinking guitar. Uh, the C would be a G. It's confusing until you get the hang of it, which obviously I haven't yet. Uh, then it repeats the verse. C, C, F, C, F, C, G, C. Uh, then the thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump look at frosty go and all that stuff is C C C G G G G C simple then it's a verse and another verse then the uh, there must have been some magic part but now it's about the traffic cop, uh, you know, that holler stop and all that. Uh, so F, C, G, C, G, G, A minor, D, G. Then it goes to a verse again. C, C, F, C. C, G, C. Then the thumpity thump thump part. Uh, C, 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 G, 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 C. Ah, C. See, the F would have been a C on guitar. So I said C, but went to what would have been a C on a guitar but I am holding a ukulele, so that's a C. And that is Frosty. So now, let's talk about um, switching to guitar. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go through these, each of the chords, and tell you what chord you need to switch to for guitar. Okay, uh, so the first chord, C, is actually going to be an F on guitar. Okay, so all of the C's in the song become the F shape. Okay, when you play it on guitar, that F shape from the ukulele is actually going to be a C chord. Okay, so when I say the C becomes an F, it doesn't. It's the C on a ukulele and the C on a guitar are both C chords. But the finger shape that you use from ukulele, the C becomes the F finger shape. That's what I should say. <laughs> uh, then the next chord, the F on a ukulele, becomes the B flat shape when you play it on guitar. So it's third fret, second fret, first and first. Uh, then the G shape on the ukulele is going to be the C shape when you switch over to guitar. So all the G's in the song, you now play the C shape when you pick up a guitar. Uh, so F, C, G, A minor. So A minor on a ukulele becomes, when you pick up a guitar, you want to play the D minor shape that you're used to from ukulele, which is two, two, one, zero. Uh, then the D shape, well, the D chord, uh, the ukulele, you play D that you already know. All the Ds, which I think happened twice, uh, actually becomes the G shape from the ukulele. Okay? And that is all of 
the chords, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to grab my guitar, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, I have to make a little room here. <laughs> okay, so on the guitar, we have six strings, okay, but right now, all we're going to worry about is the last four. Okay, so on a guitar, that's the D, the G, the B, and the E strings. Okay? So they're different names, different notes than the ukulele. Okay, and that's why now the shapes that you know become different chords, because the strings are tuned differently. Okay? But although they're different, they're very much pretty close to being the same. Okay, so the first chord, the C, is the F shape. There. I'm used to playing the full C chord. Okay, so that's, and I have to trim my nails, they're a little bit long. So that's a C. Okay, then the F is the B flat shape. Okay, so starting from the third string down from the thickest, it is three, two, one, one. Uh, then back to C. Then back to the B flat shape, which is F, then back to the C shape on guitar, which is the F shape from ukulele. Okay, then the next chord in the song is G, so that's the C shape. And then back to C. Okay, so the first verse is C. Then it repeats the verse. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then the must have been some magic thing. The F is a B flat. Then the C. Then the G. Then the C. G. G. A minor. D which is like a G shape from the ukulele, in G, which is the C shape. Okay, so now that part would be, uh, there must have been some magic part. F, C, G, C, G, G, A minor, D, A minor, D, G. Then it repeats a verse. Then the thumpity part is C, 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 G, 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 C. And then verse, verse, the traffic cop part, verse, then the thumpity thump part again. And I do not have any picks here, but that's all right. Okay, so let's play through the whole song. Uh, and I'm just going to pause the recorder thing for a second because it only records like 20 minute clips and I don't know how long I've gone so far. Okay, and I probably should have thought to grab a pick, but oh well, who cares. Um, so, I'm going to play through Frosty. Okay, and you can play through it on guitar or ukulele. It doesn't matter because... That C on the ukulele, it's the same chord. So I could play guitar, you could play ukulele. I could play guitar, you could play guitar, it doesn't matter. I could play ukulele, you could play guitar. But I'm gonna play guitar, so. 
Okay, so Frosty, I'm going to play through the whole song. Okay, of course, as usual, without any vocals. So, so one, two, one, two, three, four. Repeat the verse. some magic part. again. Frosty all the way through. So hopefully that makes sense how you can switch from ukulele to guitar. Um, and then of course I guess if you watch this video backwards you can switch from guitar to ukulele. Uh, but anyway there we are Frosty nice and easy. You can handle it.